In this tutorial, we're going to see how to take the durations column in Microsoft Project and round the durations up or down based on standard rules of rounding. As you can see, several of my tasks have fractional durations, and when those tasks are aggregated together, that also yields fractional summaries. Although you can't modify the duration field directly to round up or down, you can create a custom field that will perform this rounding calculation and then use the custom field in lieu of the original duration field. To do this, go up to the Gantt Chart Tools Format ribbon and choose Custom Fields. I'm going to take the first available Text 1 slot and I'm going to rename this Rounded Duration. Then in the Custom Attributes section, I'm going to click Formula and enter in this formula. This will take the existing duration field divided by the number of minutes in the day, then take that answer and round it up or down. The result of the round function will then be concatenated to the word days. Now to prove that this actually took place, I'm going to right click on the start field and choose insert column, and I'm going to go find my newly created rounded duration field and add that field. You can now see that the durations for the tasks have been rounded up or down. What you'll also notice is that the rounding did not carry over to my summary tasks. The reason for this, if we go back to custom fields, is there's an option in here called calculation for task and group summary rows. This needs to be told to use the same formula that was used as the custom attribute for the individual tasks. That will then carry over the rounding logic to the summaries. The next thing I might want to do is try to get the appearance to be consistent. My data seems to be left aligned in my rounded duration column while it is right aligned in the original durations field. To modify the visual properties of the field, right click on the field header and choose field settings. Here I can take align data and set it to right, and then take my width and set it to 12. Now the rounded duration column has the same visual look as the original durations field. Now the only negative to this is that you cannot use the rounded duration column as a means of data entry because the rounded duration column is merely a reflection of the original duration column. But what you can do is you can use the rounded duration column in any of your custom tables. So to use this rounded duration column, I'm going to remove it from my original entry table, and then I will go up to View, Tables, More Tables, and I'm going to take my original entry table and make a copy of that table. I will call this table Rounded Entry. I will show it in my menu, and then I will replace the original duration field with the rounded duration field. So when I'm doing my original data entry, I will work with the original entry sheet. But once my data has been entered, I will switch to the rounded entry sheet where I will see all of these durations as rounded whole numbers. As a bonus tip, if you want to use this rounded duration field in all of your projects, you need to move this newly created custom field from this project to the actual program's library. So to do this, click File, and then choose Organizer, and then switch to the Fields tab, and then take Rounded Duration and make a copy of that into your global.mpt library. This will now make this field available to all of your projects. So that is how you can take your durations field and quote unquote convert it into a rounded durations field.